All right, good morning. Today we're going to make a, your very own Seder plate for Pesha. And you're going to need a few items before you get started. First of all, you're going to need the pictures that somebody downloaded for you and printed off on your printer at home. You're also going to need a paper plate. And you're going to need something to decorate the paper plate with, like crayons, markers, whoops, paint, watercolor paint, even color, oh, we've got colored pencils if you have them at home. So, you're going to take your colored plate right now, and you're going to decorate it. You paint it. I think I'm going to use a green crayon. I'm going to color mine with a green crayon. So right now, parents, I want you to pause the video. And after my guys are done decorating their plate, then come back and see me. Pause now. Ta-da! Hopefully you paused the video. And have decolored your plate or painted it. I painted mine green. Actually, I didn't paint it. I colored it. So now we're going to have to cut out the pictures. Now this takes a little while. Okay. Let's see if I can get this set up for you. You will need. Uh oh. They're not. They're in my hand. You're going to need kid scissors, safety scissors. If you don't have safety scissors at home, please let mom and dad use the big scissors. Mom and dad, you use the big scissors. You cut them out. I don't know if this is you got softa with you. Whoever's with you, if you only have big scissors, then the grown-ups do the cutting. Little scissors, kid size scissors. All of my kids, except one, can use these scissors to a varying degree. Some of them... All of them can put their hand in there. Some of them need a little help getting it in the right way. And we've got some lefties and I've got some switchers. It's all okay. Their hand goes on the inside. Your hand for my two older ones, well, that's not true. Watch your child. Their hand goes in the inside. Your hand goes on the outside. And make sure your hand is holding the paper. And their other hand is holding the paper too, so we don't have any cutting accidents. Now, most of mine, this is hard for me to do by myself, but their little hand will be able to cut. They just need your hand around the scissors for some guidance to stay on the line. That's really hard. Some of my other children will need you to share the holes with them. So your fingers, it's hard to do. <laughs> your fingers will be in there as well. And you'll be helping them with the cutting, the strength. Okay. Now you guys have a lot of pictures to get out, so it's going to take a long time. It is really okay if your hands get tired. Stop. Stop. Set it down. Take a break. Come back in a couple hours. It's okay if you set it down and come back tomorrow because you can pause this video and do what you need to do. And I'll be right here when you come back. Okay? So you've got your pictures. Ta-da! And a pencil or a marker, crayon, something you can draw with. I used a cup we had here in the classroom. The small end was too small. So we're going to use the large end. And let's see if I can show you. So you put the cup, hopefully you can see that, over the picture and you trace around it. Now, some of my kids can hold on to this pencil. They do need adult assistance and some of my kids are going to want to do some of the tracing please let them guys if they want to do it awesome you assist it's great if they don't want to it's totally okay for the parents to do it okay all right so now you're going to turn or turn the video off pause the video whatever and go cut out all of your pictures 
I've got one ready right here. I've already cut it out and you can see it's got some white left on it, some of the edges. If your child wants to, you know, you've helped them. If you guys don't like that, you can cut that off or you can leave it. But now it's time to glue. So you will have all of your pictures. You'll have your decorated plate and you need glue or glue stick. If you're using glue stick, glue stick doesn't hold very well to crayon. And sometimes it doesn't hold to paint depending on what kind of paint you use. Um, this stuff's gonna hold better. But use what you've got, okay? Now, all of my kids can glue. All of my kids can squeeze. I have one that doesn't like it, but can. So that's up to you parents how you want to do this, but let me tell you first, make sure the top of your uh, glue bottle is open and working. So open it up, hold it over a paper towel, napkin, something, and squeeze it and see how it's coming out. If it's really hard or even semi-hard for you, then it's going to be too hard for the kids. So take the top off, rinse, open it up, take the top off. Sometimes you can completely take the orange thing off, use a... Uh, toothpick and hot water to clean it all up. Dry it off, put it back on here, and then you're going to be good to go. You want to give it a test run because usually once you've got it cleaned up, if you have it open all the way, then you're going to get a giant puddle. You don't want that. So usually about halfway. Now, kids, you know you hold the bottle here, both hands, because you guys can squeeze. You're all very strong. The grown-up helping you holds their hand up there. Grown up, you're just the guide, so the glue goes where it's supposed to and not somewhere over here. <laughs> so, I'm gonna put glue on the back of one picture at a time. And if you want to, you can lay your pictures on your plate to see where you'd like them to go before you start gluing, because they do go in a certain order, and I know that whoever's helping you will be able to help you put them in the right place. Glue goes on the back of the pictures, not all over the plate. Okay, here we go. See? And I'm putting it kind of all around in different places. There we go. A little more will probably wouldn't hurt. See? We've got glue all around there so it's going to stick on really well. And then, kids can do this. You're going to put it on the plate and you got to smush. Smush it for a second, okay? Hold it there. We're still holding. And then take your hand off and look! Ta-da! Now, you don't need me for the rest of this. You've got all your pictures cut out, you've got your plate, you've got your glue, you've got Abba, Ima, Safta, someone helping you, maybe even Gabby. Gabby, if you're watching, hi. So you guys finish at home. And what I would love for you to do, if you have time, when you get your plate all done, take a photograph, get mom or dad to help you use their phone camera and take a photograph and text it to me. I want to see your plates, your Seder plates when they're done. I love you guys. I miss you. Stay well and we'll get through this and we'll see you soon. Bye.